Yo, yo, yo. Thanks for tuning in to the 20th episode of JTalks Crypto. And in this episode, I'm going to be doing a quick overclock overview of the Apollo BTC. Um, what gear am I running? What am I doing for cooling? And um, what are my uh, results? What are my payouts? And uh, all that good stuff that, that you guys care about. So I'm running a uh, Dell 0M. 03 MJJP. It's a, a server power supply. I uh, also running a breakout board with it with the six pin connectors. I got this off of eBay. Uh, the the PSU was refurbished. It was probably around like eighteen bucks. The breakout board was like twenty after shipping. So all in all, like around forty dollars after shipping. It puts out uh, around nine hundred to uh, eleven hundred watts of power. Um, is what it looks like uh, and it's it's actually pretty quiet when it's under um, full load I thought I was thinking it was gonna be louder based off some other videos that I saw but it was actually surprisingly quiet and it was really really cheap which is what I really care about and um, I also I'm also running it with my uh, new pack gecko science mining hubs and um, yeah, I think it's a good option if you especially if you combine it with some fans um, it brings the temperatures down. It's a uh, pretty efficient. It's enough. Uh, it's it's capable enough to I think power three of the, uh, well, you know the node and the standard units, uh, all maxed out, all completely overclocked, on a standard 110 plug. Here are some of my settings: the temperatures, um, the uh, the frequency I have it at 58, the power I have it at 95. You do want to play around with the frequency. All right, so I'm going to go over the profitability a little bit. Um, mining on slush uh, with uh, 4.8 exahashes. Um, I'm going to be using a scoring rate of uh, 3.6 terahashes and the mining difficulty at 14.3 T. For each block, I'm getting approximately 460 Satoshis. Um, that's around 16 cents at a $34,000 Bitcoin. I'm finding around three to 15 blocks per day. I know that's a big range, but that's kind of actually how it works. Um, I don't know what the actual average is yet, but you know, this, this difficult shit adjustment just kicked in. Uh, the other day we did find something crazy like 14 blocks and um, to the, day, the next day we found five. And um, you know, there were there were other days before the difficulty adjustment where we just found one block, and then other days where we just found six. So um, there's a large degree of variance here that you know maybe some people aren't aware of. If you that it's really affected by your mining strategy and your payout strategy. You know, if you just do a uh, paper share, I'm, I, I think um, you're gonna have a different result. But I'm not too sure what those payouts would look like. Anyway, I just wanted to share some of this info with you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and this is JTalks Crypto signing off.